18 years ago, I trekked onto a journey that most of us are familiar with. I went through school. It's like a song to most of us. I did what my parents wished. And indeed, I succeeded. I was the best student in my Form 6 then. I trekked through that whole journey, and the gospel goes on. Uh, six years ago, tragedy fell onto me when I lost my father just uh, a week to my exams in my Form 6. Uh, that reawakened my thinking. You know, in the entrepreneur world, there's a saying that in every crisis, you have to seek opportunities. When there is a war in Iraq, the guys who are really benefiting from it, they are selling oil. Uh, when you go to Somalia, the guys who have come from Uganda here, and they are selling some stuff there. Uh, just our neighbors here in Sudan, very many Ugandans from here have been making many dollars from right there. So when I lost my father, there's something that really struck me. He was a breadwinner in the family. But then I realized it was time to think harder. I've always had the passion to do business. But this was like reawakening my whole spirit. So I was by then in senior six. You know, being in senior six, our guys always wanted their photos on shirts. I believe most of you have seen photos like the M70 photos, MPs. So this time it was students in school who wanted their own stuff on shirts. So I had a colleague of mine who we linked up and made these orders from, we're in Jinja, but we made orders from Kampala to deliver these shirts to them. And by selling these shirts to them, we made a few bucks from it. And the demand kept on increasing that when we left high school, we still had the connections right there. But that whole idea gave birth to one of my first companies, Blue Magic Inc., which is now marking six years. So it's a branding company right now, fully fledged. That alone showed me that I could do very many things if I only opened up my eyes and I learned from the challenges that I was facing. I indeed continued with the trek, that is the song and the gospel that every parent could be preaching. I continued on to university. Yeah, I went to study. I'm an economist right now. I'm educated. I was there. When I came out of campus, something struck me. Uh, I was an economist. I tried to, I didn't try so much, but whatever was available in terms of the jobs, what the job could offer, couldn't cover you rent in Kampala. And with the demands of a young man who was so, so demanding in my own self, I, I always felt challenged. I had, you know, to go back and give my mom a kilo of sugar. But with the demands of the job, and the amount of money that you're going to be paid, things weren't adding up mathematically. One plus one wasn't giving me really two. It was giving me negatives. So I decided to continue and pursue my dream and passion of building my own business empire. So I spent most of my time with graphic designers and people in two business. Uh, spending my time, I, I was such a young guy, but I did economics. But by the time I was in this business, I was doing a lot of design. I could call myself an artist right now because I design and I'm a businessman. All these things I've learned by interacting with the guys who matter, guys who do the things that I love. You know, Uganda, we are yet to wake up to, we are sitting on a time bomb whereby every year, Makere alone is channeling out 11,000 graduates. But where are the jobs going to come from? We should always ask ourselves, who's going to provide these jobs? The government alone cannot provide more than 5,000 jobs. The employment rates at 80% for the youth. So it's time to think harder and think of creating opportunities 
out of the challenges that we are facing. Having very many colleagues, having graduated from university, and they were unemployed, I had to think harder on my behalf. You know, everyone has a role to play. If you want to change the nation, play your part. Leave the rest to whoever has to do it. So, along the journey, I've always loved, you know, this stuff called cartoons. Yeah, I used to love Tom and Jerry, but as I was growing up, I didn't have the chance. So when I was done with my campus, you know, I had the privilege of now owning big screen where I could watch these at leisure. But my colleagues could tell me, you guy, you're very young. You're going back behind to watch Tom, Tom and Jerry. So they, little did they know that this was something that I loved. So I pursued, I started following the events of this whole thing, how these cartoons come up. I always thought it was a simple process whereby you can just go and draw stuff or photograph something and go and tell them to move or program them. I met some two interesting guys of mine, they are my hobbies. One was called Kim and another was called Isaac. So we teamed up to form one of my companies that is called Pom Motion Studios. So this studio was later to create animations. 3D animations, those are the cartoons. But this time I wanted them to appeal to even adults like you, right here. So I, I put myself in that position. At my age, I wanted to enjoy cartoons, but you know, because of society, I couldn't enjoy all types of cartoons. So I had to think harder. So I wanted to create cartoons that could be enjoyed by all of us. So I, I believe I could show you some of the cartoons we've been able to create at this juncture that I believe all of you shall enjoy. If not so, you could tell me if we can make for you others that could suit you. Yeah, that is just one of them. I believe you, could, you wouldn't call this Tom and Jerry. Uh, but it's something that the adults as well can enjoy. You know, animation is a world full of imaginations. The way we express ourselves, you just have to imagine it and anything is possible. But in real sense, you can never see these guys, I believe, dancing. But we can make them in our world to dance. I looked at changing things in terms of being impossible to creating possibilities in every way. I didn't go to school to learn all this stuff. I've been able to learn through the environment by associating with the people that I believe have the talents and learning from them. Being able to sit down with someone for 20 minutes can give you experience of around 20 years that you may not get while you're in school. So as a young man, I've always treasured so much sharing a table with the grown-ups or with the people who have made it within my generation. I always have a challenge. I owe myself to changing what I'm capable of changing. So I always take my time to share and to learn from whoever I meet. A wise man learns something from everyone. If you're not learning anything from anyone, then you're not on a safe path. Always make sure you learn something from everyone. I learn a lot from kids. I really love kids. I learn a lot from grown-ups because they're able to tell me and they flash back and they put themselves in my shoes and are able to advise me. So back in school, I spent two years trying to learn how Napoleon fought his wars, plus Metternich and all that stuff. But in this generation, with just a click onto the internet, you're able to get all this information. Recently, uh, I wanted to know something about Napoleon. I love this guy so much. But what I learned over the two years wasn't even comparable to what I got in 20 minutes of going through his whole profile on Wikipedia. 
What I'm trying to say is that we need to embrace the new technologies that we're living in. We need to embrace the world as it is. We need to adjust and grow with the speed. You know, the old guys have always said that I'm allergic to technology, but uh, recently I've been interacting with these guys. They have adopted iPhones. They know how to use all these gadgets. That is so impressive. Don't allow to be left behind, because once you're left behind, you're the one who's going to lose. We need to adjust as fast as possible and learn and adjust to all the means. I always try to learn and be inquisitive in terms of learning. Experience is something that you're going to learn from someone. Use your eyes. I'm an artist, but I didn't go to school to learn art. I learned this, and I've always tried to find out more. Stay foolish, as I've always said. Be hungry for everything. You want to learn something, go for it. Don't wait for it to come onto your table. Do some research, and you'll be able to learn ahead of the others. So in my view, education is not just going to school. You know, it is good, because it shaped my whole understanding. But try to go an extra mile, research, and dig deeper to understand why is this like this. So education is all about experience, and I'll end by saying being educated doesn't guarantee you to be learned. Try to be learned. Thank you very much.